Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Uh-oh. Looks like our planet is in trouble. Its health is deteriorating. And that is in part due to human activity. That means it's also our responsibility to help it get better, right? So let's dig into this problem and check out a few of the ways in which our mightiest scientists are trying to help the Earth. As our population grows, so does our effect on the environment. The more humans on the planet, the more greenhouse gases are being released into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat within the atmosphere and cause the planet to be warmer. This rise in temperature does not just mean it gets warmer, it leads to more dramatic weather events like hurricanes and wildfires. What is more, because many of the major greenhouse gases stay in the atmosphere for tens to thousands of years after being released, their warming effects on the climate accumulate over time and persist over a long period and can therefore affect both present and future generations. When you think of greenhouse gases, the first thing that comes to your mind may not be farm animals. You would think of carbon dioxide, which is largely the result from natural processes like respiration and from burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, and rightly so. But, in fact, one of the biggest emitters of greenhouse gases are cows. When cows digest their food, they produce a large amount of methane, which is a powerful greenhouse gas. Even though methane may seem like a small proportion of greenhouse gases, around 20%, it is a far more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. It has 80 times the warming power of carbon dioxide, setting the pace for warming. With the human population at almost 8 billion, we consume a lot of food, including about 130 billion pounds of beef. That's a lot of beef, and therefore a lot of cows, and therefore a lot of methane. To address this issue, humans have found alternative ways to use foods like soy and pea protein that makes them look and even taste like beef when prepared in certain ways. These alternatives are often better for the environment but they can also be more nutritious and taste just as delicious. Cow's milk alternatives are also a great way to lessen the amount of dairy farms we need. Oat, coconut, soy, almond, and even cashews can all be blended up to create a milk-like substance that can substitute cow's milk. By reducing the amount of dairy and cattle farms we need food for, we can greatly reduce the amount of methane that's released into the atmosphere. Another surprising threat to our atmosphere is concrete. Yes, that's right. The stuff we use to make the sidewalks under our feet actually accounts for about 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Because a lot of energy is used in its making, and carbon dioxide is often released when we use fossil fuels to make energy. While there's plenty of carbon dioxide already in our atmosphere, its increase over the last few decades is primarily due to human activity, which is contributing to the warming of our planet. To counter this, scientists have invented a way to actually grow biocement using bacteria, sand, and gelatin, which come together in a solid form to create bricks. This is similar to the way that coral is grown in the ocean. How incredible, right? Best of all, this process does not require high temperatures or fossil fuels, so it's a much better alternative to traditional concrete. These bricks are even stronger and more durable than the other stuff. It's a win-win. Humans are also working hard to reverse damage we've done to the world's oceans. 14 million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans every year. Millions of organisms call the ocean their home, and this delicate ecosystem needs help. Although some plastic can be recycled, the process is not necessarily straightforward and can be time-consuming. 
Some of the remaining plastic is reused, but there's a lot that certainly ends up in landfills, and some even in the oceans. If we could recycle 100% of all plastic, less of it would end up as waste. The good news is that scientists are working on different solutions to this problem. One of them is a process called enzymatic recycling, in which specific enzymes are used to break down plastic to what it was before it was used to make things, meaning we can recycle it more efficiently, and this process is relatively quick. That's a huge step in the right direction for our planet. Let's switch gears because I'm about to tell you something absolutely amazing. You may know that flying by plane emits a lot of carbon dioxide, but did you know that bacteria can be used to produce jet fuel? What's more, the bacteria feeds on the carbon trapped in waste gases that would otherwise end up as greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. Wow, isn't science just amazing? The day your plane is powered by recycled greenhouse gases is not far away. (laughs) So cool! Although humans cause some damage here on Earth, there are many scientists working day and night to find new solutions to our mighty planet's health problems. From meat alternatives to concrete and jet fuel made using bacteria, there's hope for us to help clean up and heal the planet. We have a long way to go, but if we can keep working hard to discover alternatives to the damaging behaviors of the past, we can make a difference to our and future generations.